to linger in the valley tonight. So on that note, we head right over to Chief Meteorologist Alana Brophy there for you with the very latest details. Glenn, it's thick out there. This is a look at the sun tonight. Meg Roberts took that. All you can see is red and orange. We have unhealthy air throughout northern Utah. The first time I've ever seen hazardous air popping up in Carbon County. Yeah, that's the purple air group. Red is typically as bad as it gets, but bad air has now spread throughout northern Utah. That will be the case as we head into tonight. Different story in the south because that's not where the cold front has pushed through yet. So the cold front really opened the door earlier today. This was lunchtime in the Uintas. So you know that that smoke moved in after the front moved through northern Utah in the morning hours. And at this hour, that thicker smoke from Castle Country all the way down to Cedar City has now filled in in the Uinta Basin. You can see just the southeastern corner of the state holding steady, but that will change. The smoke is on the move and it's going to impact us. Cooler air came in with that front as well. Daytime highs 89 in Salt Lake, and that was the midnight high. Temperatures stayed in the 80s throughout the day in 70s in places like Cache Valley, low 80s in Provo. And you can see other locations made it to the triple digits and warmed up, including down there in St. George. That live look outside is just grim. Not nice to see Salt Lake looking that way, almost unrecognizable. Temperatures in the 70s right now along the Wasatch Front, 60s in Logan, 94 still down there in St. George. The thickest plume of smoke over northern Utah and the central portion of the state right now. But this it's on the move. I'll show you where it's going to go for your weekend coming up in my full forecast in just a few moments. Glenn, back to you. All right. Thank you, Alana. Now to the Alberta.